Hi, uh, everybody. Thanks for joining me on this Trading Wall Street TV U.S. Market Weekly Report. I'm your host, Sergi uh, K. Kilimbi, live and direct from Madrid, Spain, in Europe. So let's get started. Okay. For those of you who are following my weekly report, uh, you already know uh, since last week then uh, I was uh, expecting to short the market and mm, that's the beginning. You already seen that uh, that great bearish candle here. Bearish week here on the Dow Jones. So me, I was expecting the market to move lower since that period because all time highs range sideways movements you know we kind of see some type some kind of uh, bearish uh, signals and over here as you know you already know by now that's a cross of the uh, four weeks moving average below the eight weeks moving average you see here er, the uh, convergence right over here you see that the two or uh, those two uh, moving averages are pointing lower towards the support you see here the uh, up uh, the trend line the uh, bullish trend line and the these two uh, moving averages are, point, are pointing down pointing down excuse me towards the 21 weeks moving average so that's the uh, the target no you see last week I was pointing down below uh, 18,400 in direction towards 18,000 uh, 18, points, you know, so that's it. For me, that's the first target, you know, that past resistance over here now supports. And, you know, the trade is being uh, successful by now and I'm expecting uh, markets to go lower you know so you, you may see more power and more uh, bearish actors coming in you know into the party and moving the markets lower towards the seventeen thousands and six hundred points you know that's the uh, no better here that's the target but really it's here over here you see here that support over here and now the uh, 52 weeks moving average over here so I'm expecting to see more of that sell-off you know if it breaks below that trend line here that support boom to the downside if not maybe we can have a, a reversal you know as it had already occurred in the past like this over here but I don't think so I think that there's a lot of fear now so that fear make us more sell-off so that's it okay let's continue quickly with the diamonds the ETF here you know same setup was expecting markets to go lower from here and then look at that boom you see here the Diver, uh, the convergence between the four weeks AMA and the eight weeks AMA in chase in pursuit of the uh, 21 week AMA past resistance resistance now supports to retest that support and over here bam now that's the same region uh, you see the trend line over here that's acting as a support you see the 21 week AMA so boom we are already there so that's another trait we have a over here we had a uh, small gap the gap was filled and now we are expecting markets to go below uh, 180 mm, point 50 dollars you know below that boom so I'm expecting more uh, sellers to come in to come in you know to come join that uh, big sell-off you see here the average the uh, volume the bearish volume is that the average so I'm, I'm expecting uh, the volume to increase you know by some uh, by 10 million you know shares or something like that and then boom for me really the target is uh, 
175 here, region of the uh, 52 weeks MA. And if we uh, do something like that, you know, maybe we can come and we test that past resistance now support, you know, for the one first time, second time, and then third time. So that's it. Okay, let's move on. Uh, the diamonds. Now we're gonna do uh, the Nasdaq, uh, the composites first. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Okay, I'm good. The Nasdaq composites. Boom, another short. This one was. Oh, excuse me. Perfect timing, you know, for this. Oh, excuse me. Okay, now it's good. No, no, no. Perfect uh, timing for uh, this one, uh, just because of you know here the the bearish signals you see here the MAs uh, converting, converging, excuse me, and then over here you are closer to the convergence, but bearish uh, candle over here already break below those two moving averages, and now. We are here and then boom next week I'm expecting more sell-off and in direction of the 5,000 level you know here past resistance past, past resistance now it's a support so that's the target you know it coincides with this you see here that's trend line that very trend line and over here now it's a support perfectly matches the uh, 21 weeks moving average and if we break below over here we're gonna come here to 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 bounce to meet the uh, 52 weeks uh, moving averages at the support trend line the channel of trend channel support over here so that's what i'm expecting so my target first 5000 points and then 4900 Okay, let's move quickly now. The Nasdaq 100. Oh, excuse me, I made a mistake. That's better. Yeah, Nasdaq. And the X, exactly the same. I was expecting the sell off over here. Boom, you see below uh, 47.55 points. You see the convergence between those two moving averages, the four weeks and the eight weeks moving average, boom. Uh, the point of uh, convergence right here. Now you see this big bearish candle breaking those two moving averages and now it's going uh, towards the uh, 21 weeks AMA over here. You see past resistance, past resistance now supports, you know, markets without volume over here. We're not uh, direction, you know, sideways movement at the uh, channels resistance. And now, boom, 21 weeks in May and then 52 weeks in May at that region, uh, 4,500 points. So that's it. Okay, let's move quicker. Now the QQQs, NASDAQ ETF. Over here, same thing, but over here, I already had a, a short position and the short position was over here below uh, 115 and then boom break below over here and my target as you can see is the 111 first of all i had the stop over here but now take some uh, shares off and reduces the the risk and now i'm waiting for the opening on uh, next week and then if market opens I'm going to reduce even more the risks to be uh, break even and then boom waiting uh, patiently for the markets to sell off and to meet my target to reach my target over here my first target it's uh, 111.50 110 over here that's the region of the 21 weeks moving average so it's, that's going to be perfect you know and then I'm expecting maybe a bounce over here at the 52 weeks moving average and then bounce over here and pops higher or more sell off, you know, towards the uh, that past support over here to test for the third time that support here. 
at uh, $105. That's it for the QQQs. Now, let's have a look at the uh, S&P 500. As you know by now, first of all, I like to see the uh, daily performance, you know, on the, the sector's performance on a map. A picture is worth uh, 8,000 words. No, I have nothing to say over here that's red. Last session, you know, on Wall Street was red. Weekly performance, that's also red. So no comment on that. Let's go back to the charts. Now, the S&P 500, you know, same scenario over here. That's a bearish, bearish, I'm very bearish, bearish, bearish. You know, the trade, it, it's already, uh, I'm already in, in, in a trade, but on the uh, SPY. And the trade was over here, you know. After that uh, convergence, you see over here at the uh, all-time highs, I was expecting the markets, you know, to go below, to break below uh, 2160. And then below 2160 to have a stop at 2190 over here, 30 points, you know, over here. And, and then to go over here 2960 over here to 21 and 20 so uh, that's basically 40 points you know 40 points that's uh, huge huge, huge uh, sell off and we all already we are already over here at the uh, trend line support so i'm expecting the s p to go lower so to break below so i'm waiting for the opening and then we're gonna see what's gonna happen in Japan and then Japan Australia and then in the morning uh, what's gonna happen in Europe uh, mainly uh, in Frankfurt you know in Frankfurt Switzerland and then the UK and then uh, let's see uh, at Wall Street opening all or uh, uh, the operators the investors are all gonna react so but I'm expecting more sell-off a continuation you know towards the downside and for me the the goal the big target is here 2050 region of the 52 weeks moving average so that's it but i'm expecting uh, i'm waiting for a confirmation for a break below that supports trend line over here okay now the spy okay the spy no comments over here very very bearish the bears are taking control you know after the uh feds announcement and also the ecb announcement uh that that causes a lot of confusion a lot of fear and investors are dumping their their shares you know i was already expecting that you know no direction slow volume indecision 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 all of basically uh, two months of all the the summer this is uh, yeah this is uh, basically all summer you know with low volume though that's typical of uh, the summer but no direction all time eyes so i'm expecting a, a a correction you know so now the target 21 weeks in may we almost there and then here we have the uh up uh, the bullish trend line over here acting as a support so i'm waiting for a confirmation also and you see the spread over here that means great volatility and then volatility between the 21 weeks moving average and the 52 weeks moving average so i'm expecting the markets to go lower and to come here uh, at uh, 205 dollars you know so that's the target maybe a little bit lower so because we can come here and we test you know that past you see here that downtrend channel now this over here was the support support over here no uh, resistance excuse me resistance over here now supports over here supports for the second time and now maybe it's gonna be the supports for the third time so i'm expecting more sell-off the spy it's over now let's have a look at the vix the volatility index and let me just close that over here let me okay so here why we can see the vix lower all summer the vix wall uh, was very low you see here some some spikes above the four weeks moving average and the uh 
uh, eight weeks uh, moving average. We see spikes over here to reach the 21 week AMA. 21 week AMA rejected it, but now boom, look at it. Convergence between the two moving averages. Look at the spread, you know, between those two moving averages. This one. Look at this powerful uh, bullish candle. Look at it. look look at it. Look at it. Bam! First time over here. Break above the 21 weeks MA and then boom reaches the 52 weeks moving average. So that's a huge candle. So expecting to see another candle like this. It's not over, you know. Maybe next week we're gonna have some that type of candles over here. Very, very huge, powerful, uh, bullish candle. So I'm expecting more volatility, more fear in the markets. And the first targets, you know, for me, for the VIX. Yeah, uh, uh, 26 points, you know, here in the, in the VIX. So be ready, you know, to capture some points. And that means for those of you who are uh, starting, starting out, that means if the VIX goes higher, the markets are going down. So that means if we are bullish over here in the VIX, when you going to trade, let's say for, let's say for instance, here, the SPI, the SPY. So you have to be bearish over here okay so that's it that's for you guys who are starting out a little tip now the uh, Russell 2000 small caps you see the all-time high over here you see that huge uh, bearish rejection and gold thing bearish candle so that's a huge signal of a reversal pattern and also a bearish pattern so now look at it you see practically no volatility a convergence between uh, the four weeks moving ama and the eight weeks moving ama but look at the spread between those these uh, that uh, region of convergence and here look at the uh, at the 21 week ama so that's the target me i'm expecting the reversal uh, the small caps to to sell off in direction of that past uh, resistance over here now supports region of the 21 weeks ma and then more sell off towards the uh, 52 weeks moving average so that's it okay now let's have a look at the iwm yeah here the i shares an etf and same scenario now me i'm mm, strongly bearish so that's it over here we have this in the long term we can see this but maybe we can have a, a bounce over here at the 21 weeks ma bounce over here and then boom because you know you see look at it that's a uh, an uptrend a trend line and that trend line is acting as a uh, as a support so we can come here bounce over here and then going up but i don't think that we are gonna to see that I'm more bearish and I see the investors with uh, more uh, they are more fearful so the first target is to reach that past resistance over here the support of the 21 weeks MA and then if we have a confirmation you know a strong bearish scandal as that one below you know crosses that crosses below that breaks below the the moving averages like uh, in this pack particular example over here like that we see a uh, repetition you know uh, a continuation of the sell-off so that's it we're gonna see first of all another bearish candle over here maybe one week trying to go higher but with a rejection another close below that trend line in that and below that uh, uh, this uh, moving average the 21 week ma 21 weeks ma and then boom going down over here to towards the uh, 52 weeks ma okay so now uh, the etfs now we're gonna have a look at the uh the bond markets uh, first of all uh we're gonna look at the t treasury notes 10 year yield first of all we're gonna have a look at the yield look at it boom you see that triangle over here and boom what happened now you know uh, people are fearful so now you see the yield is going up 
we see here we had a resistance higher lows and boom trying to go down but no you see the convergence over here and now another convergence with the uh, four in the eight week uh, ma with the 21 week ma so maybe now we're starting to go uh, a little bit more higher and the yield is going to start to increase and the target for the yield is a uh, 1.8 percent now let's have a look at the uh, tradable uh, ETF or CFD here in Europe we can trade this uh, CFD these uh, treasury notes and you see that it's going lower you know a bearish week with a big rejection you know you see here the convergence practically no volatility but now you know open here trying to retest rejected it going by uh, going back lower sell off you know and then close below the all these three moving averages the four the, w the eight and the 21 week moving averages so now in direction my target you know below if i see a move below 131 dollars so then i'm gonna be shorting shorting this particular uh, cfd i'll be shorting the us 10-year treasury notes and my target will be uh, 130. okay so look at it you know that channel boom break that uh we break the the supports over here so now the, it can uh, freely go towards the uh 130. now let's have a look at the um we're gonna have a look at the uh, 30 years treasury bonds 30 years yield bearish you see here convergence above the small uh, resistance over here now we are starting to see a divergence between the four and the eight weeks moving averages now we reach we have reached the 21 weeks moving average at 2.4 uh, percent of yields and now the um, the targets first of all is 2.5 and then 2.6 and then 2.7 percent of yield now let's have a look quickly at the uh, tradable cfd for the uh, treasury bonds the 30 year 30 years uh, treasury bonds here you can see bearish you see here the support you see lower highs and then here a break below close below you see the convergence between those two moving averages boom now they are converging with the 21 week ma close below the 21 week ma so we're free to go towards over here towards the 52 weeks ma but first we need to clear below that past uh, resistance over here we're gonna reach that that region as a support and if we break below boom we're gonna come here and it's gonna it's gonna coincide with that you know that long-term trend line over here that's acting uh, acting as a support at that region 164 okay now let's have a look at the dxy the us dollar index and the dollar index yeah i was uh, looking at that but here on the on a uh, daily chart you see a reversal that means that maybe the dollar is gonna start to go higher but i'm gonna quit that because if we uh, if you have paid uh, a close attention to the uh, meeting at the ecb and the speech from mr draghi is trying to uh, devaluate the euro because uh, the euro is too strong now so that's hurting the exportation and their uh, balance of trade you know they're managing their uh, their deficits so they need uh, to uh, to devaluate a little bit the uh, the euro 
the currency. So they need a uh, weaker currency in order to to reactivate a little bit more their uh, to rebalance, you know, their balance of trade and to export more. They need the the the, the, uh, the exports to be more cheaper, you know, in order for them to make trade and to and try to benefit from that. So if if the uh, the currency the euro is weakening so gonna see a rise you know in the dollar you know so uh, let's have a look at what's gonna happen so we all we uh, you you can see over here that we are moving just uh, in the sideways movement between that range over here and that resistance over here and that uh and this support over here we are going nowhere you know so me i'm expecting uh, the dollar to go higher you know to go back over here because we are in a inside week candle for the uh, for the third week third straight week but you see here a pop trying to go lower but no and maybe now next week if you open over here you see that we can go higher or we can go lower but we are at a in a range because look at all of the four moving averages are converging and are uh, moving in the same direction you know they're moving sideways so now we don't know we have no direction a lot of confusion you know it's happening in the currency market so uh, pay uh, close attention to to uh, all those speeches from the uh, central bankers, you know, Mrs. Jelen over here, over there, you know, in the U.S. and over here, me, me, uh, Mr. Draghi, also Mr. Nomura, uh, Mr. Ko uh, Kuroda in Japan and Mr. Carney in Great Britain. So we have to pay uh, a close uh, attention to those speeches, you know. So now uh, let's have a look at the economic calendar quickly starting at uh, Monday September the 12th and what do we have in the US you have uh, uh, Mr. Lockett a speech at the Fed at 2 p.m. And then we have some another speeches you know at the Fed on a Tuesday what do we have in the US uh, nothing of great importance we have uh, big news in the UK and in uh, uh, Germany in the US we have nothing big really no, nothing too big we have a speech at the ECB so for those of you guys who are trading the euro versus the uh, euro dollar so pay close attention this is nothing of a greater of great impact but be careful on Wednesday AUD that could mean a type of move for people who are trading the uh, the uh, Australian dollar versus the US dollar here for those of you who are trading the cable the Grand British pound versus the US dollar and nothing of a uh, big impact for the US and on Thursday in Australia, we have some news. In Switzerland, for those of you that guys who are trading the uh, USD uh, Swiss franc, UK uh, here at 2:30 p.m. in the US, we have the retail sales month on month from August. And then on Friday, what do we have of good impact? Yes, in the US at 2:30 p.m., we have the core inflation rates year on year from august and inflation rates year on year from august and also at 4 p.m we have the michigan consumer sentiments from september and that's it okay let's go back quickly uh, to the charts now let's have a look at commodities uh, first of all we're gonna start with uh, yeah crude we'll have a look at the crude oil let's start with energy you see here the big head uh, shoulder head and right shoulder we see here we are here in the right shoulder you see some type of uh, we are in a inside weak candle trying to break below that resistance over here 
market is going nowhere but you know i'm expecting the markets to go higher because uh, don't pay close attention to all these doom and gloom all this panic over here we are over here at the supports of the uptrend channel so we're gonna come here bounce over here and then go higher you see we're doing an a a b a c and now we're going for a d so the d must be something like that if i take this this just quickly or maybe the projection something like that so you see markets is gonna go like that maybe if not so boom we're gonna go lower maybe we can have some type some type of hesitation come over here trying to retest that support maybe at a, a bearish trap you know like that you know boom and then going uh, higher so pay close attention you know to the signals and to the uh, oil fundamentals and that's it I'm gonna be just fine but me I'm bullish on oil on the energies on a technical perspective and on a technical uh, point of view that particular setup is very uh, uh, bullish to me you know maybe we can come higher first of all we need to clear that resistance this one and then this one and then maybe we can come boom and then uh, go higher now the LCO the Brent oil no same thing you know so me I'm expecting market to come over here it's an inside week candle you know trying to go higher so, you know a, a B a C and now looking for a D so there's no problem you know nothing more to say now let's have a look at precious metals first of all with gold we're gonna start with gold what's happening with gold sideways movements you know one week we are bearish another week we are uh, bullish now that there, there's a rejection you see over here this uh, type of wedge or a flag you know that's a, a bullish uh, type of uh, uh, for me type of um, setup so you know as we see over here you know bam the movement and now we're gonna clear now we have the same type of movement maybe it can go much further in time you know for october and november also and then boom i'm expecting a bigger break you know a break higher i'm expecting to see gold moving higher because you see here you see the trend line over here we are already there and we rejected it so that's a bearish uh, bullish signal now we need to clear above we need a close above this particular uh, resistance over here and then we can uh, go higher because i have no uh, there's no uh, uh, bearish signals you know in order for me to have a bearish signal next week had to be a bearish week and a close over here a bearish close over here and at that particular region you see here past resistance now support a close below the 21 week ma and then yes i'm gonna be uh, a bearish on gold and my target will be uh, 12 10 but for the moment i'm expecting sideways movements and i see uh, i'm remaining uh, bullish uh, you know on gold for the moment now let's have a look at the uh, gld the etf gold etf same thing you know you see here that bullish uh, flag over here sideways movement we are, we are doing nothing you know if next week i see a a bearish decision candle and a close below the 21 uh, week ma then i'm gonna start to be more uh, bearish but for the moment i remain bullish and we remain in that particular sideways movement you know between that resistance and the support over here okay now let's have a look at silver silver same scenario you know for silver and then here over silver if i have a close below 
that particular trend line and a close below that 21 week MA then I'm gonna start to, sh to, to, to short silver you know but the target for me is gonna be the 52 weeks MA over here you already see that I have a short setup you know already in place with the risk and the rewards over here so that's it now let's have a look at the SLG the uh, oh no SLG no SLV excuse me uh, the uh, silver ETF you know same scenario over here you see the trend line excuse me okay okay Up. see the trend line over here the trend line boom below the 21 weeks MA I'm expecting uh, I want to see a close first of all a close over here but a close over here means nothing because we are in a inside week type of candle you know type of setup be, uh, inside that other big inside week so that just a you know as you can see here a bearish flag that's a b c d you know another a a b a c and maybe another d so i'm expecting i want to see a confirmation first break below that supports trend line over here another close below that particular that moving average over here and then you see here maybe i'm gonna short silver and go and target the uh, 52 weeks uh, moving average over here you see the risk and you see the reward so that's it and now to finish let's finish with uh bitcoin versus btc versus us dollar you are here you see that type of pattern well we discussed that for a few weeks by now and now you see that part, that particular channel over here we are above that above that uh, above the uh, four weeks and eight weeks moving average and 21 week moving average the 21 week ma is acting as a support but you know we are in a uh, we have a no direction uh, type of candle over here so that means nothing we are completely flat so that's a you see over here a inside week candle all of all of those candles all inside week candles uh, candles uh, so now i'm expecting we want to see a direction we have no direction over here so we want to see to clear that to break above that resistance over here and then we could start to uh, put some uh, some uh, bullish positions you know above uh, uh, 650 points you know here if not um, I don't know here um, there's a lot of indecision you know it, this pattern over here it's not convincing me you already know that we are in a big uh, cup and handle but I'm expecting to see more uh, power to the upside so that's it okay people but thank you for watching uh, trying to uh, not last uh, so long and rapidly but consistently uh, talk about and give my opinion uh, analyze all the uh, types of uh, uh, assets you know all, all of the uh, the charts and the ETFs uh, the indices and all and all of stuff and that was great so have a great 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 trading week and don't forget for those of you guys who need uh, assistance or private consistent consultancy one-on-one -on -one, go visit my temporary uh, web page over here that's in Spanish but it doesn't matter you can uh, send me over here send me an email you have my contacts over here send me an email I'm also on Facebook on Twitter or whatever and have a look at the, uh, at the, at the uh, my YouTube channel and send me uh, whatever you want if you want to have any questions or something like that uh, I'm gonna try to do my best and if you want to book some sessions and have a, a private consultancy with me these are the fees and all the stuff and we can do some work so don't hesitate guys just hit me up and i'm gonna go back at you as soon as possible okay thank you very much have a great trading week 
and see you next week okay bye for now bye